All right, hey, sweet friends. We're going to be looking at a passage today called Keeping Cool. Um, today is going to be kind of a warm one outside. So I definitely want to learn how to keep cool. So we're going to read our passage together. Oh, excuse me. These numbers show you where the paragraphs are. So we have one, two, three, four, five paragraphs. We're still going to be looking at main idea and the details that support it. We're looking at why the author is writing this passage. What is their main point that they want to tell you? And then we're going to look for that evidence that the author provides to go along with their main point. Okay, and that is their reasoning. So, I am right here. How do you keep cool on a hot day? If you are like the African wild dog, you probably enjoy getting wet. The wild dogs lie in a cool water hole. Sometimes they rest near the water, and every half hour or so, they take a quick swim to cool off. Another way to keep cool is to stay in the shade. Cats, such as a cheetah and your house cat, like to sit or lie in the shade. Animals with fur coats have another way to cool off. The African lion lies on its back with its belly and all four feet up. More heat can escape through the thin hair on the belly than from the other parts of the body. You probably don't lie in a hole on the ground to cool off, but some animals do. The bat-eared fox and the arctic fox go underground in their dens to escape the heat. In the evening when the air cools, they come out again. If it gets hot where you live, you can find many ways to keep cool. You might not want to wallow in the water hole <laughs> or lie in the soil. You can stay in the shade or get wet instead. Oh, excuse me. So, we're going to fill out our chart again that we've been doing all week. Um, and it says, you know, this is where we want to think about our main idea, which is right here. I'm going to highlight it just to remind us points that author makes. And then what is the author trying to prove? Well, I'm going to come right here and type. Good, it's not too big this time. The main idea is about how, how to keep cool when it is hot outside. Now, hmm. So, how to keep cool when it's hot outside, but what the author does is they tell us how some animals keep cool. So, the main idea is about how to keep cool when it is hot outside and tells us how some animals like to keep cool. So there's our main idea, and we want some supporting details to go along with that. So this is where I'll look it at now. I don't mean to keep yawning, I'm really sorry. <clears throat> and y'all, go back and look, okay? so. Right here, what are some ways that some of these animals are keeping cool? So look right here. The wild dog lies in a cool water hole. Um, so this helps them to cool off. So I would come back over here and I would put the wild dog lies in a, remember you can go back and look, lies in a cool wet hole. So lies in a cool wet hole to keep cool. All right, let's find another one. There's a, quite a few in here. Oh, look at this. Another way to keep cool is to stay in the shade. Let's do a different color. I know if I'm outside with my kid and he's like all over the place, I'm like, shoo wee. And I do. I go stand under a tree to cool off, and he's still out there like, ah! So another way to keep cool is to stay in the shade. So 
So we would write that. Another way to keep cool is to stay in the shade. There we go. And let's find one more. Hmm. Animals with fur. The African lion lies on its back with its belly and all four feet up. Ooh, more heat can escape through the thin hair on his belly than from parts of the body. So there's another way to keep cool. Let's do, we haven't done blue yet. So we'll just highlight this sentence. So the African lion lies on its back. And let's see, let's make sure we get the whole sentence. Lies on its back with its belly and all four feet up. It's kind of like how I see my dog in the backyard like this. And she's rolling around in that dirt. She's trying to keep cool. She looks very silly, but she's trying to keep cool. All right, so we have filled out our chart. Whoop, whoop, go us. So we're going to come over here, and you're going to have some questions that you're going to answer, and it's going to be on Google Forms. You'll have the passage. I might even put up there, you know, some little hints to help you with your questions. My biggest thing is you have to go back and look, okay, friends? Go back and look in the passage for your answer. You got this. Oh, yeah. So let's read through our questions. So it says, what is the passage mostly about? So we want to think main idea, big idea. What is that author trying to tell us about this passage? Okay. Let's go back. Oops. Let's go right here. What do you learn from reading paragraph three? So what I would do is I would doop, doop, go back here and look. You got to look in paragraph three, okay? What is paragraph four mostly about? Oh, snap. We're going to go over here and look. You're going to have to reread paragraph four. See what it's mostly about. Down here. What animals go underground in their dens to escape from heat? Go back. And look. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So go back and look. Find it. It's in there. Prove it. Be a detective. And then look right here. Write one key detail from paragraph one. So that's where you're going to go back to paragraph one and write one key detail. Might be something that we already talked about. All righty, friends. You've got this. You're going to do wonderful. I love you. I miss you. And mwah.